Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode 41 of Crucible Solo Self Found League. Today, I'm going to be continuing with the Poison Spectral Throw Pathfinder that I've put together using an Emperor's Vigilance Shield for lots of extra fizz damage and a poisoning using Cosprey's Will, allowing me to poison against cursed enemies so I don't have poison chance. I have just spare on hit and a mark on hit set up only in a five link. We're just kind of getting it going, get it more optimized and doing some real damage. But I need to get some levels to get some more life. I'm going to get some life and then we'll get this into Eldric Battery setup, optimize mana, get it juiced, probably with a haste plus malevolence, dropping some stuff to make it fit a lot nicer. This is probably going to be the last video before Diablo 4 comes out. Uh, I definitely have unfinished business here in this Path of Exile League, as my goal for the league was the Lionize Bow Slayer. We don't have that. So we have at least two months still in the league. I probably will come back to this, but today we need to get this going. I don't know what Diablo 4 is really going to entail, but I need to get this leveled and get it into a solid spot for when I eventually return to this. So the build's doing well so far. Let's do a simple map here. The whole idea behind this is that I'm reducing the damage of my hits to get more poisons to guarantee chains through packs of enemies to spray with the shield shards that come off and those are used to poison enemies so if i do big hits with this i'm not going to ricochet my shield through nearly as many enemies and i could probably use more pierce to make sure it gets through larger packs of enemies like this abyss here but the build is functioning pretty well except for me not having a lot of survivability and i'm losing a lot of life due to not having really good life crafted gear and i'm using a ming's heart which is giving me reduced life so not in the best spot but it is functioning for a t10 map like i'm absolutely crushing this and the uh, the like the poison pro lift the splintering of projectiles through enemies it's so satisfying to me i've played a bunch of different types of poison builds not all of them but this one i love how the poison application happens it's not just like stacking stuff for lots of hits it's actually dependent on chaining across multiple enemies to really get the damage off so it's a much harder to get good poisons off on single targets so hopefully we'll try to figure out a way to fix that plague bearer is definitely helpful in that regard withering step tornado and we can get more i think i think i dropped the herald of agony and i'll eventually be able to drop the clarity once i switch to eldric battery and i might be able to get haste plus malevolence faster attacks will definitely speed me up it'll be nice not to have to worry about mana recovery and then i can get a another utility flask in here lots to improve but need to grind out a few levels first that will be the main focus as we get going the first time i cast this tornado each time i log in out of the game my computer like has an aneurysm when it comes out that's been pretty standard and i definitely am capable of doing these t16 maps yeah easy underground c I, like i could i could do these maps now i just don't quite have the survivability for it i probably should skip the delirium mirror but once i get more life like it'll come um endurance charges are actually doing a ton for me and i'm gonna get endurance charge on kill i think somewhere I need to do crucibles today to level the trees on the obliteration and the emperor's vigilance. Oh yeah, here's a single target. This enemy just doesn't want to die, but the sniper's mark allows my shield to split against rare enemies and it, emperor's vigilance causes those shields to come back. So there is a way for me to get a lot of spray off on single targets as long as the, I'm in like a tight environment and I can get those extra shields to hit a wall or something and spray the extra projectiles at the single target. But it is easier said than done. And if I make some actual plays to invest in the damage of things, then it might come around. But it's as far as damage goes, I've really done kind of like the bare minimum. I haven't really specced into poison stuff because I'm getting all the poison chance I need off the chest. And then we got the boss. But you can see here how like the, the shield split. But because I have Vigit Cascade anointed, 
the split projectiles will return to me. They'll go through me. And then if those projectiles can hit a wall and have enough projectile speed to spray the boss with the extra projectiles, I can get more poisons off that way. It's just, it's not reliable. So if we add all the juice and we can get it going in here really nicely, then we might be able to pull something off. But it still seems to be a ways out from having any kind of good boss damage. It's just the clear right now that's super, super solid. I can throw away all the XP that I'm gaining this map to take out this boss. I don't have spell suppression either. Like, I, it might be beneficial for me to, like, try and figure out how to get good block going. And nix spell suppression or some extra spell block but I, I just need more life sustainability pretty badly the, the energy shield really hasn't been helping me much on my life like at all i get hit all the time from stuff that i don't think is chaos damage that somehow gets through the energy shield i don't have ghost shrouds so that's not the reason i, I don't know it's just i just know i just don't have enough hp that's the real problem, and maybe we can get around to fixing that, but in the kind of a tight spot in that regard. But bad life on the ring, on the amulet, on the belt, on the gloves, so it's rough. I'm gonna die again, I don't have the life flask. Tormented extra speed, that's all this boss is. Be cool if my ES bubble could come in and, and do work here, but not looking likely. Spell suppression, like, I, I need to not be stunned like this i'm getting stunned walking through these uh cold pillars it's stunned by everything it's bad so we're gonna fix it we're gonna make it good i'm also gonna clear the rest of the map because the boss ain't dying i lost all my xps fighting the boss but when it comes to like clearing stuff oh we're 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 on with this like even the rare enemies like if there's enemies around to spray shards into the rares like destruction is what's happening like this part of it is just like wow i love it absolutely insane so i really just need to figure out how to make it boss which i think eldritch battery will definitely give us we just need to get more stuff functioning for the bosses and if this can actually start killing bosses this might be like end up being like my best build of the league mainly because the shield's kind of op but we'll get it going this tab is full of city squares t12 i guess this is what i run it called dara t11s I like that there's three bosses in this map so i can actually deal damage to them that's really nice level 80 more life over 3k salted orb nice i got another max roll of obliteration i get another chance at a tree on one of these i think the best i have is endurance charge on kill and then i get the increased charge duration here the other one i have has a level 25 divine blessing which could be used this one that's just like an extra gym socket not really giving anything else level one life now i go add a tree to this obliteration no cast on death portal gotta drop one then hit it Go. Nope. I don't know if I got it off. I did not. Here's some space, I guess. Drop stuff I gotta look at, too. Filling blows from smite and static strike consume corpses. Heal charges, poison duration, accuracy, fizz damage. Okay. Eternal blessing. Nothing on the wand. Okay, this looks interesting. Storm and Armageddon brands can be attached to your summon Reaper. Ice trap, lightning trap, damage penetration. Knockback, endurance charge on kill, accuracy, lightning damage, crit chance, night duration. So this side about the same but worse. This has eternal blessing. Life per enemy hit removes two of your mana per enemy hit. That's kind of interesting. I think the one I have, the better accuracy on it's just better. Nice speed shrine going to be nice after these Kirak missions to get back to my double shrine goodness. But this is crazy. Projectile speed. Projectile speed is a good thing. Level 82. Apparently the big life note. 3298. Oh, I think I might know now. I was killing myself with the flask. Taking chaos damage per second from the flask. That actually degents me. I don't know how worth that is. Maybe I just need a little bit more chaos res to fully balance it. Only at 61, so 14 short. I believe, yeah, there's 10 chaos res on fatal toxins. Hit chance is still looking okay. But I think I'm eventually going to want depth perception. Hmm, field medicine seems really good. Life last gain charge when you hit an enemy. Ooh, echoing shrine. I haven't seen this yet. Well, let's let's do this with the boss. Yeah. 
Nice. Super cool. Uh, one of those everything is it's it's like a double damage straight up against everything. Big fan. Level 83. Is it time to make the jump? I don't know if 3300 is enough life. Taking it. Elder battery. That's 1026 energy shield still. The big thing here is no mana flask. I think clarity just goes. Yeah. And then if Child of Agony went, there should be enough space there for haste. Maybe even a vol haste. We just moved 41 mana. Ooh, I have an anomalous despair and a level 4 enhance. Hmm. Think about another way to put down curses. I, I, I need to have some kind of curse on hit. So malevolence or the divine blessing inspiration. So that needs the sockets that are in my what? Tornado probably does not need all of the gem links that it has. Increased duration is definitely nice. I could just move it to here with the plague bear withering step increased area of effect. Let's have that for the tornado though I do like the speed. Can't put precision there because it gets affected by increased area of effect. Put tornado here. The faster casting and maybe the anomalous despair. Maybe leave it there. Oh, I guess I need another blue socket. I don't even know if I can make a Tim Chains on Hit Ring. It doesn't look like Tim Chains is craftable on any kind of influenced rings. So the only way to get it is on a Gloves Corrupt. And that's kind of hard. Or the Azanath's Gloves, I think. There's there's ways. I have two of Gift of Azanath. I could go grab the Enlightened from my other character. And then I could fit in Vitality to really help me out. That'd be really cool. I think the Enhance is about to go with the Sniper's Mark. It's going to be an extra 5% increased damage from projectile hits. I guess that really doesn't matter as much, does it? More about the splitting. But it's working with the less hit damage. Add a red socket to my helmet. Get all the greens, though. Come on. It would have been easier to do this with jeweler's orbs at this point. There we go. So this is going to be sniper's mark. Mark on hit. Steel skin. Enhanced level 4. Enduring cry can still stick around, though. Really close to the endurance charge on kill. I think I'm going to put withering step on my left click and then use spacebar for steel skin this time rather than enduring cry move the enduring cry there malevolence yeah we should be good there and instead of the jade flask let's find quartz flask level 87 quartz flask should be good enough two charges on hit attack speed that's really good i was wanting to go for crit chance but attack speed is fine okay and I have to keep malevolence up and I got extra speed damage just already seems a bit better. Maybe I should have the malevolence up permanently and use the haste for the blessing. Because, well, I feel like the damage just went crazy all of a sudden. There's no mods on this map. Like Fizz Reflect and... Or it's Ellie Reflect AoE. The speed is very nice. The phasing is nice. Yeah, I really don't know of a good way to get Tim Chains in here. Which fire brew? And that's a despair aura. And I could use the ring that lets me apply a curse, but then I have to figure out resists. Still want more XP, so I'm gonna grab a bunch more of these city squares. Been going all right. I have acquired the endurance charge on kill. That's going to help a bunch. Oh, some big damage coming out. The plague bearer. Really need the extra plague bearer max value. That'll help that a bunch. Another reason to get some kind of poison things. Attack speed dot multi this is what I need. Attack speed poison duration into swift venoms is probably better than the one up there. Also starts with 15 poison chance though. Hmm. Looking at this jewel socket and the distance to swift venoms, the distance to toxic strikes. I don't know if there's even a jewel that can reach to that one. And the fatal toxins. Maybe there is a serious jewel that can hit fatal toxins and toxic strikes. They're both really far out. But it might be about the same distance. I'd also improve my life flask and get spell suppression. Or we'll get spell suppression here. Or we'll get it. Attack speed additional projectile, more crit chance accuracy, one more life. There's no way I can get it all, so it's gonna be kind of harder to optimize. It is definitely very much more destructive now that I've gotten the blessing. If I stop animation canceling the cast on it, that would be great. The frost blink isn't getting used hardly at all with withering step on my left click, because it is always on the same cooldown has the withering step so i need something else to get up and down ledges 
Flame Dash should do it. Go. Got a one leveled already. Boss damage has definitely improved substantially. Safety has gone up substantially with the Endurance Charge on kill. I just need to now go for the... This one's going to take a minute. The fourth one always does. Level. What Frenzy Charge on hit marked enemy. That damage could ramp. And then next, figuring out how to get power charges. Level 85. I think here is where I do some passive tree surgery. Reroute some stuff. I want to refund a... Acuity. Put those points at the start of the ranger. Move all of these. Connect that there. Connect this here. Move the movement speed, spell suppression, and the projectile damage. Raj speed. Oh, I need to connect it up here first. And remove those. Eight points. What did I take? I took some proj speed and I took some spell suppression. Get the better spell suppression. I think go through the strength here and not this point well that gets me access to ailment avoidance to put acuity back and then i have passive point i could get spell suppression as lucky at 47 percent with flask 59 it's gonna help a lot here i want to get field medicine i think that's where i'm going next igneous geode i haven't seen one of those in a minute okay here we go here's a challenge Batash. Life Leech is doing so little for me. I need to unspec the Life Leech and use it for field medicine. Better uptime on the Life Flask. Hey, gave me a tabula. Igneous Geode has Beyond. Magmatic Ore. The Mana Leech doesn't matter anymore. Life on Hit works. It'd be better to get it here for the Recovery Mastery. But Field Medicine, Better Life Flask, lots of Life Flask charges. Other Geo. Ooh, and more Syndicate. It'll be good. I need quality on my shield, so Hillox showing up in the intervention is not good. So, pull him out. Need that quality on the shield, that's more damage. Oh, nice. Four of them in here. Ah, you're gonna get super omega poisoned. Okay, maybe it that flood has more resistance than the others. Mm. Hillox locked up. Any safe house research here, and Hillox will not be able to get into this safe house that's what i need so i gotta let him go i think there might be no way to avoid there might be no good way to get hillock in there without like running a mastermind so no unique on the geode hillock's trying to go getting quality on these flasks would be solid but not what i want level 86 move non-elemental ailment when you use a life flask I should probably go for profane chemistry. I'm gonna need more life. I'm just gonna take 6% life for now. No, I guess I'm just running the safe house. It's XP. Ooh, double boss. Why didn't I corrupt this map? Energy shield on block has been acquired. Monster level 83 as well. I definitely have the damage to do these 16 maps. I don't even know where the rare enemy went. It just vanished. And there gets to be five of them, so they just... It to get showered. Ooh, I don't know that I dropped a portal. Maybe it got me. Right, try this again. Keep an eye on him. There we go. Oh, nice. Get that fled. Must just have some big chaos res. Okay, so then I can try and get Hillock in there. Map with three additional breaches. That's a lot. Chains that bind. Ooh, a crit shrine. That's probably the best thing I can get. Is there enough time for me to really juice this thing? 88. I think that's high for where I'm at here. So, ah, I still ended up dying, but I got most of it. Nice. Another diamond shrine. Awesome. Just means guaranteed fat poisons. Bosses. Oh yeah. Level 87. All right. I think it's about time. Let's try. Do I six link this one? The other one's not even socketed. Yeah, we'll try it. Let's go. Six link this bad boy. There we go. Six link. Yes. Okay. One blue socket. The rest go all green. Like so. Put everything back. Wild toxins for bosses. Chain for maps. Maybe I just ditch the enhance. There we go. Yeah, I definitely want chain. I've currently lost Enduring Cry. Putting Steel Skin back on left click. Move Malevolence. Move the increased duration on the Tornado. My Enduring Cry back. Get offhand to level some stuff. How about this? Wasp Nest. And an Allure. Five white sockets in total, but an extra green. Level whatever to... Let's look. Kurek Mission. Really reflect. That one looks doable. Up to 103. So, 
Now, more chains means more spray, means better pack clear, and these maps have crazy pack size from Kirak. So well, that is the main use for them in my mind. Pick map that's doable, run it. I probably should use scouting reports at some point to fish for bosses. But the first few, I am going to just level. Probably need to upgrade my Pantheon as well. I guess I just take the biggest doable map, the best layout, Minotaur, reduced effect of auras. Chance to avoid poison though. That's really bad, like not doable, bad. Put in the underground sea map instead. I don't want to switch characters. And it's Shaper. If it was Elder or anything else, maybe. Yeah, we can boss later. I, I, want, I want this Pax size like obliteration going on it's so good file toxins in for chain or mervale thanky ow boss still takes a long time i can't see the number of poisons on the enemy so i don't know if i'm getting damage up from the vile toxins oh this is more damage with hits for each poison on the enemy Ooh, that might not be the play then maybe a wither on hit would be better mana siphoner got me I just take all that DJ on my life. Oh, there he is. Box attacks. I need to be able to deal with that. Oh, and then he blew me up. Rip. Does less cooldown really hurt me here? I don't know that it really does. Withering step and steel skin during cry. Oh, I love the additional chains. It goes through some packs now. Exalted orb. Yeah. What's next? Phoenix with double fizzes extra. Okay. Might have to swap characters for that. But at least I can clear the map. Oh, yeah, I just swap characters for the boss. Go in there that close. Not bring out the absolution boys for a minute and I die. But now I got the Vala one. I use Fanky. Oh, come on. My Vala skill didn't work at first because there wasn't Sentinels out. Okay, so this character does not have insane survivability. It has glancing blows block like I do, but it has it all the way up, I think. But it has damage. Next. I uh, guess I have to do the Caldera, don't I? Level 88. My next connector to Propane Chemistry. Ooh, breach. This should be good. I mean, if the enemies decide to show up. Oh, yeah. Look at that side. What's up here? Anything? Still getting stunned. Chilled, frozen, something. There weren't a lot of rare enemies in that. Oh, this has a 50% chance to avoid poison on the map. I just ran it, and I've been doing it. I wonder if the always... Poison against cursed enemies bypasses that chance to avoid. And here's a pack of the totems. I'm gonna throw one in there. Let's see. There's stuff that is cursed but not poisoned. Again, yeah. So it's there. It's half poisons is enough, I guess. I just dipped on the boss. Don't care. Easy arcade map. Consecrated ground. Oh, that's right. One of them was healing the whole time sitting on consecrated ground like there's no way this boss should have that much hp left now i don't have the extra chain the malevolence aura wears off really fast in here too ah thank you boss i made a map from it though and back to this Urax memory of the pantheon we can hit shrines guarded by pantheon monsters okay you do you know region i think i probably can Oh, of course, the light got me real quick. By the time I realized it was there, I was dead. Nice, an eradicator. Another phoenix. Oh, nice, the fun diviner strongbox. Four div cards that have a full stack number of 13. That seems bad. That seems bad. Give cards. Where's 13? Seven years bad luck, mirror shard. Only thing price-wise on the first page. Is it worth the divine orb? I don't know that it is. Not an SSF. What we got? Recursed words. Astral protection. The price of protection. Risk kydecophobia. This time for Phoenix. Thank you. A build that's not gonna die, hopefully. Damage yeah, getting better as the wither stacks ramped up. The longer I spent in here. Pretty solid though. Vault of its Ziri. Two unique bosses in an arcade. Do that. The same treasure. Putting vile toxins in for this boss. I might go with a void manipulation instead. Maybe that'll do better. Yeah, these are definitely dying faster this time. More enemies to chain off of, and I took the chain off just for the boss. Igneous Geo, and I got my charge duration, so endurance charges are back up to 10 seconds. Frenzy charges will go to 15. Still don't know how to get power charges. I'd like a power charge on crit to be able to go in here that I could then replace. 
removes passive tree from non-unique item. Exar complicit. I do not need reduced mana cost of attacks anymore. Exar. No area of effect. Lots of stuff for spells. There's curse effects in here. I mean, this fizz taken and recouped his life isn't bad. I'll do that. Worf with magic monsters. That'll be good. Checking this inventory too, just in case. I don't need to do crucibles anymore. I probably should be looking at bows, but uh -uh. not right now. I love it. Magic packs. Poison. So good. Jungle Valley is doable. Yeah, you get these Guardians Challenge cards from time to time. Out of here. Hidden Woods with a Purifier. Try to get back at him for last time. Well, the Blighted map is tempting. Increased life and area of effect. That could be bad. My life is getting better though. Alright, I'm gonna give it a shot. 90% XP. So I am confident I can do it. Well, these Fizz hits can get me. He still doesn't have good possibility for these shields to come back and hit him. Ooh, mm, caught me. I'm not gonna throw away this whole level though. I give it a shot. That's another reason, I guess, why rares die so much easier. They're getting hit by all the spray. It means they're getting withers stacked up on them really nicely. The poisons are doing better. Another reason the single target scenario just is not really happening. But clearing maps with this has been such a dream. If I would have cleared the map, I would have been at zero XP and I could have done this. Done that boss on this character. It's okay. There will be more. Gotta do the Caldera. Level 89. Oh, maybe the lesson I'm learning is I just need to focus a lot more on the Withering Step on bosses. Maybe even the Tornado. Yeah, the Tornado definitely helps get more shards off. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta use the Tornado. The Tornado helped a lot there. This level starts into Profane Chemistry. Hexproof race course, but I can curse Hexproof enemies. Easy. Another Apeps. Yo, that's... Potentially huge. What do we got? No. Very low roll. These red beasts with the... Uh, I'm gonna summon more monsters. And I'm just gonna use those monsters to throw more projectiles through you. 100% chance to avoid being frozen. I'll get the other one too. Stun and block recovery would be something good. There we go. Got them all. Soul the Brain King. Now go more maps. <laughs> the additional chains is so cool. Makes me wonder, like, I guess I know Dead I would be cool with this. With the additional chain, but is there a way to make that gloom thing happen? I guess an awakened chain gives an additional chain as well. It works against the proximity bubbles. If you get in there when all the sprays are going off, the pack size in these maps with the wandering path Kirak nodes. Hmm, so solid. I love it. And most time rare enemies are not even a factor. Because there's so many enemies around them, they just get sprayed. Another phoenix, eh? Okay. A delirium mirror as well. More monsters. Like, the more monsters, the more pack size, just the wilder it gets. Oh, something got me. Rewritten Distant Memory. Uh, sure, I guess. What did we get here? Ellie Pin. Monster Life. Poison. Power Charge. 78% pack size, and this is really insane. Oh, Soul Eater. Okay. Ah, he tried to stick around. The increased pack size really pushes the increased XP gain you get out of here. 90. Okay, drop a portal. Just in case, this point goes into life, life recovery. I pull the extra node from that life wheel. Put it in profane chemistry, extra life. I don't know I have quite enough projectile speed for this arena to really work for me. About to get ads. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, this is where you're gonna get destroyed buddy oh he lost the mark okay he did not take near as much damage from that as i thought but i probably went through the ads really quickly and more ads just don't have the boss damage oh, i guess there's extra boss life here ellie pin is making these little ground runes a pain that's not good ah war cry life flask Ooh. i mean i'm still alive in here this is getting a little nonsense okay seems about right about the time i was Going no further in there. Really close to calling though. Yeah, well, wish I could chain off these little pylon things. You get close to them and they go off. And you get close to them again and then they recharge. Come on. Calling range. There we go. Ruby ring. 
Minus 21 chaos damage taken. Herald of Ash buff effect fire res with Herald of Ash. Mm. All right, dropped to 322 XP, million per hour. But get to go back through the rest of this. Get that juicy, juicy XP. All right, so I'm a low XP. This is where I should look for bosses. Well, Temple, I have several of them. Now I need to get through the scouting reports. So like run calderas or reroll for bosses. No leech. Extra area of effect, Phoenix. I'll actually fight the Phoenix with this build this time. Bunch of gems sitting on the 20 there. Okay, at the start, and I shade through the Phoenixes. I guess I can. Damage is not there, but fighting boss. I think fixing this for bosses is probably going to take some POBing and optimizing. I do need all the life flask recovery stuff I have gotten, but beyond that, make sure I'm getting the highest poison DPS out of it. What? He was off my screen! Only 100% area of effect. That could have been way higher. Got him. Next. Reroll. I'm just going Caldea or reroll at the moment. Use like 10 of these explorers. Here we go. Gotta go for the Eradicator, not the Augmented, because that doesn't give him a fragment. Eradicator does. Man, we get beyond in this map. Ooh, another boss. Oh, you're in a very open area this time. Like that. How do we move you? Okay, th this thing can stuff can collide with. There's a there's a couple little spots. Oh, this is a tanky boy. Stay up on the withers. Keep using the tornado. Oh man, dead. He's got some nasty degens on him. I also have no life, so I really can't gauge it super well. Even in between these two little uh, stacks of crates or whatever they are, been helpful. Ah, oh, I would enduring cried there. I would have been okay. I have another different button than normal. Oh, I was at five HP. What? Wow, he's dead. Who tainted blacksmiths? Okay, let's see. Can I eradicate her? This room has lots of walls, so it's going well. Okay, phase one down. Okay, bigger room, but not doorways, so I can keep hitting at least. I tried to save the ads that it spawned. Add phase again. Save them as long as I can. Ow. Yeah. It's, it definitely helps so much. So much damage applied in that little spurt of time. Could be phase in here anytime. There we go. Eight. Okay. Get a still a ways from coal. No, nope. one more ad phase. This time for sure, though. Now, weathering step. Last. Got it. Seven influence scouting reports. Go for that. Rocks. Monster damage. Extras. Fire. But banners is ricochets. Maybe Drox will be just fine. And it's a coves. That boss isn't that bad. Oh yeah, these banners got no chance in here. Yep, there's things this character is very good at. And there are things that it is very not good at. But I am very impressed with the map clear. Actually brought the bosses out here. Well, it's two bosses at once. And well, it isn't. And you gotta deal with the last one. Get it to cold range. Oh, there's a ritual in here. I bring Drox into the ritual? Uh-oh, I already pushed it. I guess we're doing the ritual here too. Probably for the best, actually. That's more damage on the boss. Then it's got the banners, but the banners can take the mark. No. And I got hit. If we can keep the mark on Drox. Oh, this is golden. But if not, this is very bad. It's definitely going better, I think, than Eradicator just did. Got a phase now. Like it will clear out the banners. Actually, I don't know if I wanted to clear out the banners. Then you won't have to place them, and you can place them in the middle where he is at. Okay, it's probably for the best. They do get the enemies spawning now. Okay, now back to Drux. And yeah, go get Rex Drux. He's taking so much damage. Yes, love it. When it works, it works. <laughs> hey, Beamer, take it. I right, gotta check. And a Caldera. Gotta do it. Another Asylum. Another Phoenix, eh? No region. I can do that. I got a crit shrine. That'll be good to take into here. I open the essence for the extra mobs that's necessary. Oh, there goes the crit shrine, though. Did not last long enough. Region, blind on hit. And like, I got it. Oh, yeah. Call him. Just die. Just die. Come on. There we go. Ooh, next. 
Eradicator or a Phoenix? Gotta be the Eradicator. Swap in Void Manipulation this time. So hopefully this will go even better than last time. It looks like it is. So I do think the boss is doing a little bit more damage than the last time because it's got some frenzy charges. Some power charges. Hmm. Still took a death. Okay, can you phase now, please? Go part. Oh, we are in part two. Mm. Lightning tendrils hurts standing on top of this guy. Into the final phase. Oh, I got under his storm and right when that thing came out. That was unfortunate. Second, there we go. Wheel. Hey, what's next? A Minotaur with Chaos Res. Okay, that's not bad. It's not good. I just want to see Elder Fragments. Go from ZDPS boss to ricochet destroying everything. I think so. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not getting as many chains either. I have void manipulation in. Minotaur certainly won't be bad, right? Got close walls. Almost halfway. Got another Plague Bearer up. He spawns adds too. Those adds help get the, the Plague Bearer up real fast. Easy. Eight chaos for a Vault Temple. Or how many chaos do I have? I have 27. Okay, yeah, that's fine. What's next? Eradicator unidentified. Okay. No curses. Not taking reflect damage. All res is fine. Uh, buff duration is fine. We're looking at monster damage. Monsters hinder on hit with spells is a mod. Yep. Maybe a life cannot be stunned. Could be inhabited by abominations. I think that is the case. So I figured out two of the possible map mods. It could be boss life, AoE, boss damage, unique bosses, tormented boss, any of that. No boss charges, boss doesn't have attack speed, doesn't have AoE. I don't know, it could have been like increased magic monsters, less spell suppression, or who knows. A good strat is like put yourself between the wall you want the projectiles to collide with when they come back and the boss what i was trying to do just there so like the one the projectiles that are going to come back through you and hit something and go off if there's a spot for it at least sometimes you gotta get a little risky with it well not there ah dead so close no ad face eradicator dead two more influence oh let's check first two more influence scouting reports Purifier with crit and damage and vulnerability. Okay. The bosses suck, but at least getting to the boss is really fun with this build. Every time, like, I, I take a few minutes to kill the boss and then I go back out on the map and it's like, oh, I get to play. Lights bring the pack size too, so get lots of chains out of these. Okay, Mr. Purifier. Not had good luck with this guy on this build. Ah. I took the hit. I must have glancing blows that because it killed me in the past. Damage is doing okay. I can't get hit in here. Oh, just don't get hit. Oh, yep. Phase one. Ow. Bleed from the vulnerability. Ah, got myself with the enduring cry. Okay, going to phase three. I could have specifically respect a mastery to make marked enemies not able to do critical strikes just for this. I was being super safe with it. No! Oh, it was just an auto attack. Did so well against that. Crit vulnerability boss speed. There we go. Okay, last one. This is a Baron with monster life. Ender. Okay. Alright, I like this. Seems as a new challenge. Not fighting the same three bosses over and over. It's been Phoenix, Eradicator, Purifier, and then some one-offs. So it would seem though the crazier the the map the better more pack size more good this doesn't stop should have done the purifier with the void manipulation instead of the chain and i might have been able to get that okay, i actually have to fight megara here going okay there's some kind of walls here nice not bad now void manipulation in don't get greedy he's going to attack me at the beginning of this nothing i can do about it gotta get him to an hp threshold i think so he can start doing the rotation of slams and the floor there we go. It's easy little stutter steps. Does the trick. Drag him around. Hit by the slam. And after the slam, if he stays on his rotation, it'll be like three or four attacks. Next corner. No walls, no adds in this fight. So this one takes a minute. But having enough movement speed and whatnot, I'm able to do pretty well in it. Stay on pattern. Go on opposite corners. Easy peasy. Archon Kite Shield. Plus two minimum power charges. 
That was the last of these. Now I can go back to just focusing on clearing maps. But it's also probably about where I need to stop. And there is something I want to do. There was, yeah, the spiraled foil. Someone had asked me to see what the crucible tree was on this. So let's hit that real quick. What do we get here? Only to four. Onslaught buff effect. Ants for brittle, no freeze chill, low lightning damage. Yeah, pretty bad. Reduced attack speed for chance for double damage. So, okay, so now, before I take a break from this, I need an unmaking. Couple. Now, unspec wandering path, spec A2 commissioned officer, gain one additional Kirak mission each day. I might not be playing Path of Exile as much with Diablo coming out tomorrow, so I want to get more Kirak missions, because when I come back, I still want to go blast and some Kirik missions, but I'm really happy with where the build turned out. Getting the haste on here, the malevolence, the divine blessing, all of it. It's looking good. Almost doubled the life. Still chance here for Tim Chains by grabbing Whispers of Doom. Right now, the only way I know of to do that, one of these mark of submissions, it would have to replace the Ming's heart, which would push me over 4k life doing that. You know, it's 450 life gained back, but I lose a lot of Chaos Res, but could gain the Fizz's extra Chaos back, potentially, by getting Tim Chains. But it'd be more beneficial for me to have the Despair in here, and Curse with Tim Chains on hit elsewhere, because the Despair is really good. Yeah, with its ex increased damage from damage over time effects, and minus 30 Chaos Res, whereas... This despair is only minus 15. So maybe there is a play in removing that for the mark of submission. Like, if I had the all res... Oh, well, maybe. Maybe I just put the mark of submission in with the anomalous despair. I lose life doing that, don't I? Yes, I do. That's a lot more damage. Like, a lot more damage. Hmm. Something I will have to mess around with next time. I'll leave that sitting in my inventory. And then next time, all the Kirak missions go. Hey, another purifier lovely it'll still be there but that's where i'm going to end this one i like thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me if you'd like to help support my channel please consider using the super thanks to the heart icon just for the video or by joining to become a member and i'll see you on the next one cheers